Ausenma, automatically following unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, the product tutorial, installation instructions, blade installation used to identify the motor. In M4 motor, the clockwise rotating blades are installed, and then the black caps are screwed on the blades at a clockwise direction. In M1 3 motor, the counterclockwise rotating blades are installed, and then the red caps are screwed on the blades at a clockwise direction. Legs installation. Inverse the aircraft and two legs are placed in the corresponding position, and the screws are used to lock the legs. Optical flow module installation. Remove the two screws from the back of the foot frame. Tighten the optical flow module. Pay attention to the direction of the light flow module and plug the optical flow module into the corresponding interface. Cradle installation. Assemble the cloud platform. Install the camera into the cloud frame. Install the camera and the shock absorber and tighten the screws. Then install the whole cloud platform to the drone again. Installation A mobile phone holder. Assemble the mobile phone bracket and install it on the remote control. Instruction of installing the app for mobile phone. Download the software, then install it. After installing app, connect the drone Wi-Fi. Find the corresponding Wi-Fi connection in the phone. Settings. Open the software. Click the left open key and enter the play interface. Remote control function. The factory setting of the product is defaulted to American hand switch. Power on or stop the flyer. Power on flyer. Press the button which below arrow point to. Power on flyer. Keep press three second. Propeller run. Push the power throttle. Flyer fly off. Stop the flyer. Push the throttle down till propeller stops running. Emergency stop. Handle all toward the lower left corner. Blade stop running immediately. Flying instructions. Code match. Hold the remote control, SWC2. Don't let go. Then open the power switch of the remote control. Next, insert the battery into the aircraft fuselage until the remote below the third lights went out. Let go of SWC2. The aircraft is placed on the ground Switch back and forth four times at the position one and two. Time interval is less than one second. Pick up the aircraft at a horizontal direction and rotate it six circles at the clockwise direction. After calibration, the white lights of the former and later arm lights are in a flashing state. And then put the aircraft back to the ground and return to the normal work. Basic operations. The left analog stick of the remote control is pushed upwards or down and the aircraft will rise or decline. Release the analog stick and make it naturally back. The aircraft will hover. Push the left analog stick to the left or right, and the aircraft will rotate to the left or right. The right analog stick of the remote control is pushed upwards or down, and the aircraft will fly forward or backwards. Push the right analog stick to the left or right, and the aircraft will fly to the left or right. Real-time transmission. Unmanned aerial camera Qualcomm chip was adopted, and Sony 6-class lens. Processing efficiency is high. The pixels of up to 1080p through mobile live transmission can be seen on a mobile phone by aircraft live transmission of images. If you want to shoot, picture press mode key. If you want to make camera shooting, press ENT key. Shoot picture finish. Picture be saved into SD card. Fixed height mode. Mode switches SWA1, SWB2. Under the fixed height mode, push the accelerator analog stick. When the aircraft rises up to the required height, the accelerator is released and goes back to center. 
and the aircraft will maintain the current level. Fixed height mode. Load switches SWA1, SWB2. On high control mode, set the SWB to 2 position. Flyer will be on GPS location mode. On this mode, flyer will keep height and position. Note, must put the emitter and flyer in the place with good GPS signals. Optical flow localization model. In the indoor environment without GPS signals, the optical flow positioning mode will be adopted and the external optical flow sensor can distinguish different complex terrain so that the UAV can realize precise indoor positioning, hover, and steady flight. Point of interest surrounding flight. Mode switches SWA2, SWB2. Under the GPS fixed point mode, push the forth and back analog sticks to control the flight surrounding radius. Push the left and right side analog sticks to control the aircraft clockwise or counterclockwise surrounding point. Automatically following mode. Mode switches SWB2, SWC1. In GPS location mode, set SWC switch to one position. The aircraft automatically rotates until the camera aims at the position of the remote control while the relative distance is kept. When the remote control moves, the aircraft moves in a relative distance. A key takeoff and landing. Mode switches SWA1, SWB2. Keep quick press fly off key three times. Fly will start one key fly off. Keep quick press landing key three times. Flyer will start one key landing. A key return. Mode switches SWB3. When the condition of GPS is good, the aircraft will return to the position of return voyage instructions of the remote control. When the condition of GPS is poor, the aircraft will return to the unlocked position. Headless mode. Note, each time fly off must be in high control mode. Return out of control. Under the GPS fixed point mode, and as the aircraft loses a remote signal or the remote control is directly closed, the aircraft will automatically enter into the uncontrollable mode, and the aircraft will return and land to the unlocked position. The high precision gyroscope protection system is used in the aircraft. It can be applicable to the different degrees of bad environments. Flyer low voltage alarm protection. Low power alarm, yellow lead quick flash. Low power landing, yellow lead keep lighting. When the aircraft is in a state of low voltage, the aircraft will launch low voltage alarm and the buzzer on the remote control drips drops alarm and the lights flash on the right side. When low voltage alarm starts, there are two to three minutes of safe flight time, then fly back to replace batteries as soon as possible. Note, when there is low voltage alarm, Please pull the height of the aircraft as low as below 15 meters. When there is a yellow light, the aircraft should be reduced to less than 10 meters. Battery installation. Insert one side of battery with plug into to adapter as 220 volts. Red LED lighting when charging. Green LED lighting when complete. Left right hand shift mode. First confirm that the aircraft was turned off under the shutdown state of the remote control. The left and right analog sticks are moved simultaneously to the upper right direction. At the same time, open the remote control switch and you can see the LED flashing. This means it is in the left and right switching mode. And then the right analog stick was set to the right, which is switched to the right hand mode. Finally, press the confirm button 